Hey guys, both sad and happy, but welcome to our final episode on our genetic series. Save one of the most confusing and maybe the best for last, banana sex linking. If you haven't checked out the rest of the series, guys, please take a look by clicking somewhere on the genetics playlist. It's, it's on the screen. If you haven't watched it, click it out. Today, we're looking at the genetic sex linking in banana ball pythons. Why is it that my ball python is a male maker? Why is yours a female maker? And why is it that girls can produce half and half? Let's take a look. So today, we're gonna to be looking at banana sex linking, a topic that has confused many people and continues to do so. So we're gonna look at the banana ball python mutation, right? And we're gonna look at what we mean by sex linking and why is it that you have such things as male makers and female makers. Before we can actually get into that, we need to understand the basic principle of sex determination in babies. And luckily for us, sex determination in ball pythons was discovered to be the same as humans. So it makes life slightly easier. So in inheritance, uh, any organism has a number of different chromosomes and a chromosome is a bundle of DNA. So in humans, the or an end ball pythons a female animal a female animal a female organism will have two versions of the x chromosome so they are x x when the, when an organism has an x x or two copy or two versions sorry of the x chromosome they are female with males however they are x y so they have one chromosome which is the x chromosome and they have one chromosome which is the y chromosome and it's very important to understand this because for example the reason that whenever an animal or whenever a person has a baby it is always 50 50 percent chance well 50 50 chance that the uh, resulting offspring will be either male or female and to prove that we can do a quick punnett square so we can say x x x y so here you have XX, here you have XX, here you'd have XY, and here you'd have XY. You can see 50% are male, 50% are female, and that is always true. So now we understand simple, basic um, inheritance of or sex determination in animals and in ball pythons in this case. We can then begin to look at why is it that banana or the banana ball python mutation is linked to sex okay or wh why is it that some animals like this boy right here why is it that this male uh, he is actually a banana and she spider het pied but why is it that this banana male will produce almost exclusively banana uh, well, well, any of his offspring that are banana or carrying the banana gene will be also male why is he referred to as a male maker and we'll look at that right here. So the banana gene originated in a female or originated in a female ball python, um, a wild caught female from West Africa who was carrying the gene for banana. So this female, okay, had XX because that is her chromosomes. And on one of her X chromosomes, she had the banana gene. And that banana gene was linked to that particular sex chromosome. So most of the other gene or all of the other genes are found on the other chromosomes, not on the sex chromosome. So the X and Y chromosomes as they're given, the rest are all given numbers. And then two chromosomes are actually given letters, which are commonly called the sex chromosomes or the sex determining chromosomes. And then she would have bred to a male and she would have, uh, the male would have had XY. So a female ball python, okay, a female banana can produce 50% female bananas or 50% male bananas. So in actual fact, a, a banana female ball python can produce either male or female in equal ratio. And if we look at that here, so we have X, Y from the male, we have X from the female, and the other X 
has the little uh, B attached to it, okay? So it has the little banana gene attached. In this case, you have XX, okay? So you have a female uh, ball python without banana. You have XY, and here you have a male ball python without banana. But here, this animal, so it can cut this little uh, X gene with X, that is now a female banana ball python. And here, remember it's inheriting this particular chromosome there, you now have a male banana ball python. And you can see by ratio, 25% here are, so 25% male bananas and 25% female bananas. So why is it then that some are called male makers or female makers? Well, that actually lies within the male banana ball pythons. And it's because of the fact that the male sex chromosomes are XY and not XX. And I'll show you that now. So if we take that male that we produced before from that female and we breed him to a normal female, okay? So remember, we're still looking at the sex chromosomes because that's where the banana gene lies. And we look at the male. So remember, he inherited that banana gene from his mother and so has the banana gene sitting on that X chromosome. So we're going to look at why now does this male produce only females. Why would this male be considered a female maker? And that is simple. So if we look at the Punnett square for these two here, so we have X and X from the female, X and Y from the male, but remember that the male has this banana gene on his X chromosomes. So if we bring this down here, X, X, but this has come from there, so that's the little banana one. X, X, and again, banana, X, Y, X, Y. And you'll notice that every female this animal has produced is banana. But he cannot produce a male, right? So these are all female bananas because they're all X, X, but he cannot produce a male, which is banana. And that's why we call him um, a, a female maker. Now, remember again that the females can produce, any female banana can produce 50-50. They can produce males or they can produce females. So where, where then do banana male, banana male makers come from? So a male banana, like the boy we just had up here before, why is he a male maker and not a female maker? Well, there is something that can happen during replication, during um, when a cell divides and um, sexual reproduction happens. What can happen is actually these two chromosomes, right? They can actually trade or what's called a crossover event. And essentially a little crossover happens and it splits. And the little bit of, well, the little piece of information on the X chromosome here that codes for banana gets transferred to the Y. It's a random mutation. So the first ever banana male maker happened by chance. It is a natural occurrence. Crossing over happens all the time. And there is on average, somewhere in the region of a 6% chance of a crossover event. Now, if that should happen within this male, he would suddenly no longer have the banana gene on his X chromosome, but instead on his Y chromosome. So if we assume this has now happened, well, the pairing will change slightly because you'd have a banana female, well, you'd have a normal female, sorry, without carrying the banana gene. And you have a male, which has the banana gene now linked to his Y chromosome instead of his X chromosome. And then if we look at the Punnett square again, X, X for the female, X, Y for the male, but now he has the little banana gene linked to that X chromosome. So when you're looking at possible offsprings, you've got X, 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 Y, X, Y, but these Ys have the little banana gene linked in there. And you can see now we've changed 
completely. We've now are saying that, so sorry, I just realized here, this is no banana, no banana. So here, no banana. Oh, banana. And these are all females. So all of his female offspring will not be banana. And all of his male offspring, however, will be banana ball pythons. So in actual fact, all of this is when we create a male maker. Now, a male making ball python, such as this boy here, will produce only male bananas unless a crossover event occurs. So that's why, although they are male makers, it is not 100% certain that they will produce male makers forever. There is a chance that this male could produce thousands and thousands and thousands of offsprings and never once produce a female banana ball python. But there is an odd chance, there is that roughly 6% chance that this male within him, a crossover event could happen in one of his sperm cells and actually the banana gene, where he now currently has it linked to the Y chromosome, could jump over to the X chromosome and now we've become a female maker again. And, or, sorry, he could now have um, a, a, a sex cell which has the banana gene linked to the X and therefore produce female bananas. And the cycle starts again because any banana that was produced from the female, if he ever produces one, any banana that's produced from a female, as we saw before, could be... 50% male, if we bring that up, could be 50% male and 50% female, half and half equal. So guys, we hope, we really hope that you enjoyed that final episode on sex linking. Hopefully now you understand why bananas um, are either male makers or female makers and why bananas, females can actually produce both. And we really hope that along this series, you've learned a load of stuff. This was the main intention of us making this well this little mini series the seven part series was to teach you guys about genetics i'm a geneticist at heart uh, my degrees are in genetics i'm a science teacher and i really wanted to pass on this information in a way and in a format that could really help you guys out we really really hope you enjoy that series it's a sad end but hopefully we'll make something similar in the future to you know help further educate you guys help you understand a little bit more in the behind the scenes genetics of this whole hobby because there is so much to talk about guys help us out we hope this helped you out and help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button you guys mean the absolute world to us and you are why we make these videos so show us your support by hitting that like and subscribe Tell us what you thought about this episode and this whole series down in the comment section below. What do you think we should do next? Is there something that we missed? I can add an episode eight if we need to. And until the next video, sadly the series is ended for now. Until the next episode, guys, we'll see you then. Bye. Thank you.